Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the world headquarters of America's finest political talk show, The Talking Porcupine. I'm your host, Kyle Hooten, and I've got some talking points on my screen here that I think we can go through to make a semi-passable YouTube video. So first off, I've already established who I am. My name's Kyle, and I'm doing this show, The Libertarian Porcupine, or The, the Talking Porcupine. Yeah, I'm a libertarian. I got no idea what's going on. So, the other day, I was cruising through Snapchat at about uh, very early in the morning, and uh, I definitely had work the next day, and I definitely regretted staying awake. But I'm cruising through Snapchat, right, and I get this snap, it's from a buddy, it says, hey Kyle, I just got picked up. I'm like, great, well, what did you do now? And what he had done was he had violated curfew. You see, my city has a curfew, and if you're under the age of 18, which we are, we're 17, and you're out beyond a certain time, you're in violation of this curfew. And um, at first, this seems like an okay thing. You know, you're thinking, any young people out beyond a certain hour are just looking for trouble. You know, my mother always says, nothing good happens after midnight. But I think that's completely ridiculous. Because what I think the government was doing in arresting this individual was violating not only his rights, but the rights of business, and thus they were infringing on the free market. You see, my buddy was in a Walmart parking lot. And as we all know, Walmart is not only the home of the world's finest white trash, but it runs 24 hours. A 24-hour Walmart means that they can host patrons at any hour of the day. Obviously, I don't know why I said that. But uh, by telling them that they are not allowed to host people of my age at a certain time of the day or night, is definitely violating their liberty and infringing on the free market. Also, telling us that we can't be outside, even if on somebody else's private property, during a certain hour of the morning, is a gross violation of our personal rights. Uh, basically, what the government's doing there is it's setting a precedent that they own outside, and they can regulate who goes outside when. And uh, this is soft tyranny because they're not regulating everybody's rights. They're not saying, you know, nobody can go outside at night, but they've started small. And this could be a non-issue. This could be one of those little things where it never expands beyond this. The curfew only applies to young people, and that's more than likely where, where it'll go and what's going to happen. But it serves as an excellent example of the government making a uh, very tyrannical law, but sugarcoating it nicely in uh, specifics to make it very palpable for the American people. So again, well, the curfew for young people is probably not going to evolve into something more extreme. I think that we have to be on the lookout for instances where this sort of soft tyranny will evolve into hard tyranny. And I think that um, America is definitely headed in, in the area where we could see some issues with this. Another problem that I've seen is fishing regulations. At first, great idea, regulate fishing. We don't want to have uh, too many fish get caught or anything. But uh, when you look a little bit more, you see some very tyrannical issues. Let's say a man would go out onto his own land and dig a pond, let it fill up with water, and stock it with fish. Uh, my grandparents do this all the time down in Oklahoma. And um, if you stock that pond with fish, and you have created that pond, you don't actually own the rights to use it. If you're going to put a boat in that pond, you have to license that boat with the government. And if you're going to, God help you, fish out of that boat, you've got to get a fishing license from the government. Now this doesn't make any sense to me. All these things are your personal property. It's happening on your own land. Those are your fish, your boat, your water. And um, the government telling you how you can use those things that you have created is a gross, uh, a gross infringement on your right to personal property, in my opinion. Uh, also, there's a law in some states that you can't collect rainwater and a pond is collecting rainwater. But I'm not even gonna get started on that law. I uh, just want you guys to be thinking about this. Be thinking about areas where you might be seeing some soft tyranny. Be thinking about what that could evolve into. And be thinking about if this is really the avenue that you want your nation going down. So I'm, I'm not saying this is some grand call to action. I'm just saying this is something that I'm worried about. And I want you guys to be aware of it. Now, uh, that was a little news segment by the Talking Porcupine. Not all my videos are going to be like this. I actually have a flag collection. And uh, you see one of them in the background here. I'm sure I'll rotate them out, so I might have a little thing where I talk about flags. This flag is actually derived from the uh, Culpeper Minutemen. I might want to talk about them. I might do some history. I might talk about some weird things on my desk. 
I know right now I've got my fish in my laptop, but I have an Egyptian placard and an Egyptian flag here. Someday I might talk about the story behind those things. Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll just see where the channel goes. Thanks so much for tuning in, and again, you're watching America's finest political talk show. Catch you next time.